In its most severe aerial bombardment since the beginning of the war, Russia launched everything it has today, showering missiles down on Ukrainian cities, including Kyiv. The attacks occurred throughout the night, following a significant setback for the Russian Navy when Ukraine attacked a Russian cruiser in the captured Crimean port of Feodosia. In the violent and deadly conflict that Putin started 22 months ago, this is thought to be the most severe aerial assault. Russia launched an attack utilizing all of its available weapons, President Zelensky stated over Telegram. According to officials today, the wave of Russian drone and missile strikes in Ukraine claimed the lives of at least 12 individuals. Klemenko reported that two persons were killed in Odessa, two in Kiev, one in Lviv, one in Zaporizhia, and one in Kharkiv, in addition to five fatalities in the Dnipropetrovsk region. Russia attempted to overpower Ukraine's air defenses in all of the country's largest cities. According to officials today, it fired 36 drones and 122 missiles at targets in Ukraine. According to Ukraine's military leader, Valery Zaluzhny, the Air Force intercepted 87 missiles and 27 drones of the Shahed type during the course of the night. According to Ukrainian officials, numerous people were reported injured and it is unknown how many people were buried beneath the debris. Zelensky claimed that a wide range of armaments, like ballistic and cruise missiles, were employed by the Kremlin's soldiers. Officials said that maternity hospitals, malls, and warehouses were among the structures damaged in six different locations. Mayor Vitaly Klitschko of Kiev reported on the Telegram messaging app that damage had been done to a metro station building that was being utilized as a shelter. Eruptions in Kiev. Air defense in action. Remain in shelters, Klitschko wrote in a Telegram post. Later on, Klitschko said that a warehouse was ablaze. A massive fireball looked to be erupting from the top of a high rise in the city, according to a video that was shared on social media. The director of Kiev's military administration, Sergei Popko, reported that there was a fire in a residential apartment building and that debris had fallen in two different areas of the city. A warehouse of around 3,000 square meters, 32,300 square feet, caught fire in the city's northern Podol area. When firefighters using oxygen masks attacked the fire, there was a distinct scent of burning plastic at the scene, and a massive column of black smoke rose high into the sky. Sergei Popko, the head of the military administration in the city, stated that there were thought to be 10 individuals trapped beneath the debris. According to Popko, the city's Lukyanivska metro station sustained damage and had its passenger entrance closed. The station's platforms were being used as an air raid shelter. Numerous more residential and commercial structures sustained damage. According to Mayor Ihor Terakov's broadcast remarks, 22 Russian strikes were reported in Kharkiv, causing damage to a hospital, residential structures, and an industrial site. At least five additional Ukrainian cities, including Odessa in the south and Lviv in the west, were hit by drones and missiles today, according to the mayors and police of those cities. According to the mayor of the city, a high-rise building in the southern port of Odessa caught fire after being hit by debris from a fallen drone. Another hostile attack resulted in damage to one of the high-rise structures. On social media, Mayor Gennady Trukhanov posted that the fire was quickly put out. According to Ukraine's Southern Command, 14 attack drones were destroyed in the country's south, and no deaths were reported. The onslaught and heinous destruction were perceived as retaliation for the Storm Shadow Boxing Day missile hit on the massive landing ship Novocherkask in Crimea by Ukraine which is believed to have resulted in at least 33 fatalities and several injuries. According to Ukrainian reports, Russia was attacking Ukraine concurrently with the use of 18 strategic bombers, Iranian-supplied Shahed drones, and Russian Kinzhal, Iskander, S-300, KH-22, and KH-32 missiles. Reports have stated that Kaliber missiles were also deployed. We have never seen so many targets on our monitor at the same time. Yuri Ignat, a spokesman for the Ukrainian Air Force, stated, the chief of Volodymyr Zelensky's office, Andrei Yermak, declared, Russian missiles that were fired at residential buildings and civilian objects today killed people. The enemy is still attacking. Over a dozen massive explosions were heard in Kiev, 
One caused a massive explosion after striking a tall skyscraper. Black smoke could be seen rising from the Artem Aircraft Production Complex, which makes air-to-air -air guided missiles. The plant looked to be on fire. A fire has broken out on the warehouse property in the Podilsk district. The Kiev City Military Administration declared preliminary reports indicate that there are injuries. Clarifications are being made to the information. There were reportedly some under the debris. Emergency personnel are en route to the location. There are currently five people wounded in the capital. Stated Mayor Vitaly Klitschko, two males in the Podolsk district received immediate medical attention. Two victims were hospitalized in Shevchenkivsky and one in Sviatoshinsky district. The Lukyanovskaya metro station building sustained damage from the explosion. The station functions as a haven. Preliminary reports state that an apartment building in Lviv was struck. Victims exist. One of the lyceums in the city caught fire. According to the Lviv Regional Administration, it is most likely because of the falling missile debris. It was said that there had been an attack on the military training facility at Yavoriv. The Apollo shopping center in Nipro was struck and fatalities were recorded. There are dead and injured as a result of the morning attack on Dnipro, stated Mayor Boris Filatov. On camera, a maternity facility was struck. Regional Governor Ole Sinyahabov of Kharkiv reported that eight people had been injured there. As of right now, eight people have been injured as a result of the occupier's strikes on Kharkiv. Doctors are offering immediate assistance. One victim, a male of approximately 35 years old, has died, a high-rise building in Odessa sustained damage from debris from a kamikaze drone. There was a fire, declared Oleg Kuyper, the director of the Odessa Regional Administration. Verification is being done on victim information. Olena Kurillo, a resident of Kharkiv who gained notoriety as the face of the war when her graphic photo went viral at the outbreak of the conflict in February 2022, stated today, this was the worst night with more than 23 missiles and constant air raid alerts since 3 a.m. None of us has slept properly this December in Kharkiv and the region. My daughter and her boyfriend are currently in a shelter. They barely had time to get their kitties and make their way there. I'm sheltering in my home's basement floor, reading messages from pals in Lviv, Dnipro, Zaporizhzhia, Odessa, and other cities around the nation. They all refuse to sleep repeatedly grabbing their kids and elderly relatives and fleeing. Over the past two years, I've experienced a wide range of emotions, including hope that our Russian brothers won't simply kill us, shock, tears, anger, and now hatred. I've also heard people say things like, this cannot continue, and they can't just go on killing us before the rest of the world, like this is something they have the right to do. But they don't. Please hear us from under the missiles, from under their endless death drones, from under their shelling. They cry, but they have no right. The most recent round of Russian attacks was condemned today by the UN humanitarian envoy to Ukraine. Denise Brown posted on social media, saying, for the Ukrainian people, this is another unacceptable example of the horrifying reality they are faced with and which made 2023 another year of enormous suffering. Andriy Yermak, an assistant to the Ukrainian president, stated that Kyiv required more support and strength to stop this terror. Citizens are being targeted by missiles flying at our cities once more, he stated. According to Ukraine's foreign ministry, today's Russian missile attack demonstrated that negotiations for a ceasefire with Moscow were impossible. Russia is not considering any other scenarios than the complete destruction of Ukraine, the ministry stated in a statement, in the midst of uncertainty surrounding future aid to his war-torn nation, Zelensky thanked the U.S. yesterday for releasing the last package of weapons under current authorization. Zelensky had issued a dire warning, saying that any shift in U.S. policy, the U.S. being Kyiv's principal ally, could have a significant effect on how the battle played out.